Mm -hmm. Just be, be out, out with, with us. us. To Lux South Ari Atoll. We're staying here for five nights and we're creating a complete experience for you. A complete walking tour of the entire island. And show you exactly what it is this island has in store for you when you come here. And if it's worth it, just, just be, be out, out with, with us. us. We're starting at the arrivals and normally you would think, okay, arrivals, you would have a car driveway pulling up, but we are on an island and the only way to get there is by a seaplane transfer. And this is a dock for the seaplane to land over here. When we landed, uh, the plane pulled up right to that floating uh, platform and then we got off. It is about 30 minute flight from Mali, which is the capital of the Maldives. And 30 minutes later, you are on an island in the middle of the Indian Ocean. And it's really cool because when the plane actually pulls up, the, the staff of Lux are standing on this dock and they're waving to you as your plane pulls in. It's such a cool feeling. And of course, this again is the arrival area and here you notice there's a, a platform, all your luggages and stuff are being picked up here, taken off the plane and taken to your room. And now we are walking towards the registration area. And when you actually arrive, you have, or your family or your group has a designated staff member who will greet you, walk you to the arrival area and go over with you over all the documents and your room and everything that you need. The see, plane transfer starts from 6 a.m. and the last one is at 4 p.m. So when you plan your international flight to Mali in the Maldives, you really need to take in consideration so that whether you arrive into the resort on the same day or you need to spend a day uh, somewhere in Mali and then fly over. And as you can see, the views here are breathtaking. The beach, beautiful white sand, emerald waters. It's absolutely beautiful. Once you get here, you know you have arrived in paradise. And if you are new to our channel, my name is Irina and my husband Devon is right behind the camera. Gee. And we are just be out. We create informative travel videos so you get the most out of your vacation. Lux is actually a chain of hotels all around the world. They have different hotels and when you... Uh, this uh, hotel is located on an island so the entire hotel is a private island so this is just a little uh, hanging out area relax relaxation area and this is a beautiful arrival area by the way before you actually get here before boarding on the seaplane Lux has its own lounge and it is ha it has similar decorations to this so the theme carries over it's really cool here is a beautiful centerpiece and when you arrive again all the groups because the seaplane is small so it only holds a um, small number of people and all the groups will be separated in different areas and the staff member will bring all the documents for you and this is the uh, registration area and you can come here and make any type of reservations if you have any concerns they will be able to help you right in this area you will find a very unique feature of Lux, signature Lux coffee. This is the only place in the Maldives who has their own uh, brand of coffee. They actually import coffees from three different countries. Um, Brazil, Guatemala and Ethiopia and they create their own unique blend and they roast it here as well. So here uh, they have coconut divine. It's their m most popular signature coffee cocktail, non-alcoholic. Non they have drip coffee here, any types of uh, different coffees. They have cookies here and every day they also change desserts. Over here, 
they have different desserts every day. And the desserts here are absolutely incredible. And speaking of coffee, right next to their coffee station is this room. And in here, they do coffee classes where you get to learn about all the different blends of coffee and how coffee is roasted. They actually roast it. This is a coffee roaster. And they go ahead and they tell you the, um, the processes of doing it. And this is where everyone would sit down. And then there would be someone in here that would be giving you all the information. And not only uh, they do classes, they roast coffee for the entire resort. They do classes here. Uh, here is a com small computer area. If you need to get online, they also have Wi-Fi here. It's a little slow, but nevertheless, you can check emails and catch up on the work. Uh, here, they also have classes, uh, coffee barista classes, where you can actually learn how to make beautiful designs on cappuccinos. Hmm? This is a central area. The island is 1.9 kilometers in length. It is actually really big. It's one of the uh, top 10 biggest islands in the Maldives. Also, when you get here at this location, um, you will be picked up by a golf cart and you would be taken to your room along with your luggage. And before you get to your room, they will actually take you on a tour of the island. To the left of the registration, you will find their marine uh, animal of the month is shark. This is a marine center, mar marine biology center. They also, they have so many complimentary things to do here for you. And they actually have marine biology talk twice a, a week at 9 p.m. they do talk, talk, uh, tell you more about their marine life here in the Maldives. Um, next, we have a lagoon bar. Uh, in the Maldives, it's not, not all uh, resorts are all inclusive. And one of the reasons why we chose Lux and why we love Lux is because they do have an all inclusive option. And as usual, they have breakfast only, a half board and a full board option. And here is a beautiful island bar, the Lagoon Bar. They have seating right in the sand, seating in the bar. They have some lounging chairs and uh, it's right on the beach. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely beautiful here. You can sit here, have some cocktails. You could see the overwater bungalows in the distance. Cool vibes here. Hey, morning. So here you have fresh lemon water. And in here you have the dive center. Exactly, and uh, also right next to it, water sports here. You can sign up for scuba expeditions and even um, do certifications for scuba as well. Uh, they, are, they have a PADI certification center, so if you're interested in actually getting certified, this would be one of the places here. How are you doing today? Are you? Good, how are you? Good, Good thank, thank you. you. Uh, one of the things that Lux Resort is known for is the whale shark snorkeling because they are located uh, on the south of the Maldives. This is mostly where the whale sharks are hanging out and we are going on the tour. And this is their water sport center where you can book some activities. They have so many different activities. Maldives is known for water activities. Besides water activities, there's really not that much to do, but here they even offer fly boarding um, for, a, for an additional charge, of course. Uh, jet skis, kayaks, parasailing. Uh, yes, you name yes. it, they have it all. It's really awesome. Even fishing. So, if you are not sure what whale sharks are, here they are, and it is really popular to come here and do whale shark snorkeling tour. So, whale shark snorkeling tour, and they also have um, manta rays. And here in this area is all the equipment. You have the flyboard equipment here. Jet and also ski, jet skis. Board. So this is where all the equipment is kept when you book. And this is a, a very narrow and long island and you have a beach on one side of the island and on the other side of the island. And even though 
uh, they have 190 either 3 or 95 rooms and hold uh, up to half <laughs> a thousand 500 500 people on the island uh, that they can accommodate but the island does not feel packed there are so many places you can be literally all by yourself and on this side of the beach you can see they have even banana boat rides uh, they do sunset cruising and if we turn the other way from here you can see their arrival area where we just now. were so we're not far away from the arrival area you notice we're at this end of the island right this is the closest end to the arrival and if you would like to see what the beach looks like we have a beach walking tour where there is no talking just the views and the, the sounds beach. of the waves yes and yes. the sounds and uh, this is on our second youtube channel world travel walking tours and uh, if you haven't subscribed we have a lot of walking tours from around the world along with other beaches and we'll leave the link to the description of that channel so you can walk the beach with us so again like we mentioned this is the one of the furthest tip of the island and really cool you see these um arches in the water that's a swing and then the, uh, the other one that's a that's a picture frame over there so again these really cool instagram style photos that you see all over instagram yes lux has a lot of awesome features and again one of them is actually uh different uh, setups for your <laughs> Instagram moments and uh, usually resorts have just one frame with the resort name on it but here at Lux they have a lot of different fixtures and chairs and beautiful things that you can actually take pictures with and another awesome feature of Lux is that they do have their own sand bar how incredible is that right now the tide is is high but when the tide is low you can actually walk to to the sand bank right here in the distance you see lots of overwater villas and those are the villas uh, that have a pool with it they have uh, different types of villa over water villas some with the pool some without the pool and some with a longer pool but we will take you on a tour of different styles of rooms that Lux offers that we have access to so you can see which is the best room type for you uh, this this type of villa is uh, one of the furthest villas but again closer to the arrival area at the other tip of the island they also have another style of villas when booking a resort in the Maldives something that you need to keep in mind is that Maldives are known for their beaches and their clear water but some resorts have more of a rocky shoreline uh, and the water doesn't look as blue you know there it's very shallow or all, all around the resort so when there are a lot of rocks and seagrass the water doesn't look as blue so this is something to keep in mind and this is one of the reasons why we chose Lux is because all around Lux there is shoreline made out of sand and you can see the difference in the water and again right now it is a little bit of an overcast the weather is not usual for march maldives have its seasons usually march is the dry month that is why and this is high season that's why the rates are actually uh, more expensive than during other months and it's supposed to be the best weather but right now we are experiencing weather that is a little bit um it's you know the weather is unpredictable so right now it's a little bit unusual for the maldives and you see overcast so the water color depends on the sunshine when it's more sunshine of course the water brings out all the colors 
right now we are just at the reception where we pass through we will go back there shortly and this is another thing that Lux offers look at this gorgeous pod and it is attached to a palm tree how beautiful is that uh, totally an instagrammable spot or a spot to just relax and enjoy the views so this walkway you see the uh, cart is going it leads you to a few different things there are two restaurants located right in the middle of the walkway and further down there are all villas uh, over water villas romantic villas and temptation villas uh, there are three temptation villas on the island and the difference between romantic uh, over water villa and the temptation villa is the pool in the romantic villa the pool is much shorter and the temptation villa has a really long pool we are staying in the romantic over water villa and we are actually really impressed some people say staying in the overwater villa is overrated but not for at all. us we do not not at all so. it's absolutely beautiful again if we look into the ocean you can see two trees painted white and a hammock in between them that's a really awesome setup again for all your instagram shots and of course you look down in the water you'll see some fishes down there and this is really shallow guys if you're wondering just how deep it is you can literally walk this whole area i told irene it's kind of like being in your own swimming pool it only goes about maybe four or five feet deep all the way around is is kind of like the same level of water so it's not deep at all you could pretty much walk out there we've seen people walk the whole thing while they're just walking around going from place to place in this area here and this beautiful walkway with awesome designs light up at night oh, at night they it's beautiful lights and it's really gorgeous and now we are here at umani restaurant and the east bar the east bar is open at 5 p.m and they have really awesome decorations right now uh, it is closed so some of the amenities are not available but if you look on the wall they have beautiful manta rays i think wool wool is it called woolwin or, yeah it's woven yeah. yes and kind of like a wicker right wicker that's yeah the word. they're so beautiful and then if you look up in the ceiling that's th these are three or four five six chandeliers but they actually have wine bottles. Yes, and at night they are, uh, they do light up. And right behind the bar, there is also fishes, uh, really cool. And right now they have the uh, plastic over the, I guess there's no window, so over the where it's supposed to be the opening. But what they have here, you can see there are nets and they put pillows there. So after you grab a drink, you can actually sit down and relax here right over the water and have a drink. The plastic is here whenever it rains, then they would just kind of slide the plastic down. But it's cool here. Look like look at all the, 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 the swings. <laughs> And, and you have a cocktail and just relax yeah, this swings uh, actually rotated different ways so when you're sitting here you feel like it's really private and they swing a little bit you can have your cocktail and it's a really nice super relaxing vibe i almost fell asleep here last night it is super cool uh, so umani restaurant is closed right now and this is um, another really awesomely designed deck and this is built a part of the bar so when you do have a drink you can also sit down and relax here umani is a japanese restaurant and if you do have an all-inclusive package that is one of the restaurants that is actually not included in your package but if you do have an all-inclusive option they actually um, offer you 30 percent discount right now they're closed but we can just quickly pop in to look at the design the design here is beautiful hello, hello. good afternoon Thank you. This is beautiful. So this is one of the tables. It's surrounded by ropes and an overhead lamp. Really beautiful. And here we have the chef 
uh, preparing today's Sushi. menu. It's really so far, beautiful. The food here oh, at Lux has amazing. been outstanding. Oh. We are actually really impressed, and they have a lot of specialty uh, options as well. So so far the all-inclusive options have been phenomenal and today we are doing a specialty option which is buffet seafood lobster and seafood buffet all you can eat seafood and the way they do it it is normally 130 dollars per person uh, plus tax and plus tip but for um, all-inclusive option they have a large discount which is only sixty dollars per person continuing on we are approaching east market and as you can see we still have this beautiful deck out here and east market is open for breakfast lunch and dinner and this is uh, part of the all-inclusive option we are back well just because you must see the setup uh, right now it is breakfast time and over here they are set up for a dim sum there are different style of dumplings and this is a east market the entire market is set up like an asian market but everything is made fresh for you here is fry and grill they have oyster mushrooms what other buffet have you been where they have oyster mushroom usually they have some portobello mushrooms yeah just also. generic mushrooms white right. mushrooms look at the quality of these potatoes sausages uh, bacon anything you want and you see how they put herbs right on top of it that means they actually fry it with herbs so it has this herbal flavor here is the roast station uh, they have some duck today and again for dinner they have different options as well next we have fried rice station and the way it's set up is that you can choose either sliced chicken sliced beef any type of vegetables and they fry rice for you freshly uh, right to order tortilla eggs this is awesome here they this is a noodle station again the same style you pick your vegetables you pick the style of noodles you like uh, you pick your protein uh, meat uh, chicken there is also some seafood and uh, vegetables and they make fresh noodles for you over here they have the asian wok again, again the same style right you just choose whatever you want as you can see this is raw meats that you that you have here fish raw and fish and chicken everything is so fresh and everything will be fresh what i really love about this place is these these fine little touches you see it, the setup is like market it is so cool so yeah look fun. at all the condiments so many different condiments chili oil bean oil but look at all the different the, noodles yeah so fun that beautiful good morning. morning and as you can see the chef is right there making it for you so once you pick everything you want mm -hmm. he will make it for you and here's the egg station hello hello mm -hmm. so here you get your omelets you get them exactly the way you want here's a display again condiments yes these are all the different types of um, eggs you the way you can get Good them morning. and of course for omelets your peppers your mushrooms more and more and more and more endless condiments there is a beautiful tea and coffee station but you can actually order your teas and coffee once you sit down at the table so here's this coffee station here are all the different varieties of teas they have and they do have different choices of milk obviously regular milk almond milk and oat milk and look at this they have so many options cocoa powder brown sugar chia seeds cinnamon powder um uh, linseeds and different type of fruits seeds and nuts here is a salad station so you have olives and pickles 
And here you have your cucumber, lettuce, spinach, tomatoes, peppers. And again, shelf, just like a market with different vegetables, fresh juices. So that's watermelon juice and orange juice, as well as water. Well, we have more juices, carrot juice, green juice, ginger juice. So if you like ginger shots in the morning, you can have it here. And it's also here, different types of yogurts with jam already added, different types of cereal here as well. And of course, different fruits and nuts to mix with your cereal. Granola as well. Here's the fresh uh, fruit juice again. So if you'd like to make to order whatever juice you want with different ingredients, they will definitely make it for you. Gluten-free oh, options as well. Awesome. They have gluten-free cereal, gluten-free muffins. And for oh. those of you who love sweets for breakfast, this would be your area here. This is awesome. They have waffles, pancakes, crumpets, french toast, crepes, and this beautiful display right here is homemade jam, pineapple jam, strawberry jam, apricot, orange marmalade, the homemade hazelnut spread. They have a fruit station here, cheese station, and look at the different types of honey they are offering. And don't focus on the um, view. overwater <laughs> view out there. Just focus on the honey. All different types of honey they have here. And here oh, are some. Look at that cage with bread. Wow. And they actually look like birds in there. Yes. They're, they're shaped like birds. <laughs> so you have donuts and um, different muffins and pastries, fruit pastries. Oh, I spy caramel pastry. Oh no, that's Nutella wow. Danish. Really amazing. Chocolate and almond bread. Gluten free. Chocolate, almond bread. Cold cuts. And on that area, that's where you would toast any type of bagels or muffins that you need. They have salmon, smoked fish, turkey, ham. The food here has been nothing short of amazing. You know how we are with our when it comes to foods. Here are a different selection of cheeses. Beautiful. And of course, a fruit platter. Made to order. And it's really cool because the chef actually gets the little dice, all the pineapple and all the kiwi and everything from there and then place it on your plate. So it's not only from here. So awesome. Everything is made to order and you can customize absolutely everything here. And right from the market where you pick up all the items that you want for your breakfast, you go out to the dining area which is outdoors and you have beautiful ocean views, uh, over water bungalow views. And if it's raining, they put the shutters down. And we are back out from here. You can see the island, the tip of the island. And this is the uh, glass area is where they actually prepare the food. And this is the outdoor deck. Again, if you want, they can set up tables here. They also have little cute private cove areas that uh, they can set up a dinner for you here as well. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, the tip of the island is there and the sandbank is there. Now, if you wanted to walk from the tip to there, you can actually do that and water will be up to your knees. It's really not deep at all. It doesn't drop off. And at times, again, when it when the tide is low, now you can walk on sand all the way across. So right now it is super, super low there. And here you can see a row of overwater villas. This is uh, where we are staying. And here is the outdoor dining area for the East Market. They have some just covered with shade and some is uh, kind of with the roof right now. They're doing some type of um, renovation. So they took all the um, tables away. And here there is no 
glass no windows but if it's raining or if it is too windy they bring down the plastic this, the plastic shutters and it still have the outdoor feel so this is it for this dining option lux has a lot of different restaurants and only two or only three are for an additional charge or with a discount for uh all-inclusive stays but a lot of them uh have actually in uh, but a lot of them are included in your all-inclusive package right now we are walking back to the main boardwalk <laughs> Now we're making a left and we're continuing down towards the villas. In this area here, they're doing a little bit of maintenance. Um, that, that's where that palm tree is. That's actually a bike rack. And I'm not sure if you guys have seen bicycles as we're passing around. Bicycles are available for a $5 a day charge. And we, yes, and per person. And we highly recommend that you get a bike when you're here because as you can see the distance we're walking <laughs> and the way the bicycles operate they, they have two different size actually they have three different sizes of bicycles they're small ones for kids they are medium ones for females and they're larger um, bikes for males and again getting around the island and as big as this island is you may want to do that because if you go from one restaurant to the next as you'll see in this walking tour it's a distance and if after you finish eating or getting there you'll get tired just walking back and forth bicycles are highly recommended so here is a really cool feature there is beach all around and this uh, boardwalk is just to your villa so in order not to bring too much sand into your villa you can just wash your feet off right here thank you because my feet does have a lot of sand as we were walking the beach just now so this is actually perfect and there are a few of these on this entire jetty there's about six of these um jugs here filled with water so you can wash your feet before you go into your villa anyway we are not going to make you stay while we are walking all alongside this board even though you probably would want us to walk <laughs> along this beautiful like look at this view yes the island is 1.9 kilometers which is huge so we are staying at villa number 126 and i'm gonna point so you could see it which is right there that little one right there before the big house and uh, we are creating a separate videos on room tours showing you all different types of rooms available here of course we can access all of them because the resort is pretty much packed but whatever we have access to we will show you but here is a quick look of our villa
what do you think of that villa let us know in the comments would you stay there but of course to show you everything that that villa has to offer and all the little features that it has we created a separate video so if you haven't already subscribed to our channel and click the bell notification so you'll be notified when we publish that video we are back at the main registration area this is a beautiful circle and they have have planted orchids in different parts of trees and it's really cool the island is very green a couple of cool features that Lux has throughout their different properties is this English style telephone booth and what's cool about this booth is actually you can call for free anywhere in the world hello Hi, they're doing some maintenance here always keep up with the island and here is another new feature that Lux offers is this electric bicycle with really fat tires you can take them on the beach run ride around the uh, entire island for only $80 a day this is really cool and fun activity and right behind it there is bicycle parking station mm -hmm. And they have these all around the island at all restaurants anywhere there's a location for something to do you will have these little bike racks and the bike racks are cool it's just two pieces of wood and you just put your tires in them and you notice all the bikes have uh, and here uh, right behind the registration they have a special celebration desk so whether you're getting married uh, would like to book a private dinner proposal maybe honeymoon anything special that you would want to do here is the place where you would arrange it we just had a meeting here with jazz she was our uh, wedding planner and we were communicating with her through whatsapp about uh, organizing our wedding here and right next to it there is also a Lux boutique so if you are short in apparel or even toys or any type of jewelry or necessities How are you? hello How are you? you can definitely purchase it here they have a great selection of bathing suits let's just take it and quick it smells look. so good in here oh, oh my god like guys <laughs> it does smell like yeah. a spa mm -hmm. just to give you a quick price range this is 190 us dollars this is 165 this one is 165 as well and this looks like um, the brand of the bathing suit that I have this looks very similar look at mm -hmm. this beauty yep there's also cover-ups here on this side and what are the costs of the cover-ups here do you see any prices let's see if we can get a price here for you 198 for that one so I guess they vary um, in prices here if you want to purchase um, uh, scuba gear snorkeling gear they have that as you can see it's also like a little convenience store because they have baby, uh, wipes, baby wipes diapers diapers so if you forget anything that would be also a place to purchase swim uh, trunks really nice formula. swim trunks yeah and this is 130 130 so it seems all of these are 130. oh look at this adorable flip-flops flip-flops for babies and um, actually really cool that a uh, lux offers is a set of f f slippers that's the one wearing one of them they are branded and on the bottom it says Lux so when you walk on sand you actually leave Lux <laughs> footprints all over the highlight it's really cool so here you can see they have even dress sh sh shirts so again you don't really have to come here with much pack light these are really cool hats wow look at these fedoras these are stylish what is the cost of this one I like this one let's see um, this is going for 134 I believe no, uh, yes 134 really nice and if you would like to get a gift for a special uh, occasion you can uh, get some gemstone jewelry here as well sunscreens moisturizing gels so again they do have a variety of different things here kind of like a small little convenience store where you can get certain things of course sunglasses shades and souvenirs oh yeah gotta have the souvenirs <laughs> so this is a cool little shop thank you guys thank you okay and let's keep going but this is pretty much all the walking distance of course you can walk the entire island but i mean if you would like to walk 
1.9 kilometers every day back and forth. <laughs> and all the props to you, it's gonna be a good exercise, but we rented bicycles. So we are going to keep you with us while we are riding bicycles. So this way you actually get a feel of how far things are on the island and how quickly you can reach to different locations by bicycle. So Irina has the white bike, it's smaller. Mine is the larger one. Thank you. And we're gonna take you guys on a bike ride to the next location. We're going to do this kind of in two parts just because we have other things we have to film today. So we'll get this part done and then uh, we'll show you other sides as well, of I'm course. I'm a little stuck in the sand. Okay. It is impossible to get lost here on the island because it only has one road. It is not paved, it is compact sand and it is a shared road between golf carts, bicycles and electric scooters and pedestrians as well. Yeah, and you'll see we'll pass a few people um, as they're walking through. So here, let's make a quick ride. So this is our first stop. They have a, a little garden area here. So we're just going to get off right here. This is not second. an official bicycle parking, but <laughs> we'll just make a quick stop. So here is a really nice garden area, a, a lot of privacy. You can just read a, a book here, just enjoy um, serenity. <laughs> there's a lot of that here on this island. There are a lot of little nooks and you can see there's another path there. So you can walk here. Like I said, there's just so many different ways. And of course, anywhere you go, beach is just a just steps away and from this entrance is a part of a restaurant right now it's closed for dinner uh, this is Allegria and this restaurant is not included in your all-inclusive package this is a private room for the restaurant and again the beach look at this Instagrammable awesome chair you have hammock right in the water beautiful gorgeous views and if you again would like to have a private dinner they have a really awesome space set up for private dinners it is secluded and it, it is right on the beach and to mention allegra is um, an italian restaurant oh my gosh look at this how cool is that they say never stand underneath a coconut tree so. and from here you can see again the pier the jetty where you would arrive there is a swing there people were just relaxing uh, with the views and the uh, jetty just leads straight back in right to the reception where we just came from so we're still kind of pretty close to the reception but you see how much we've seen so far just by the reception there you see a boat in the distance and this is a traditional doni doni boat and they do any uh, some type of uh, expeditions like snorkeling trips on that boat and remember we told you guys that the amount of people that can stay on this island as well as the amount of staff but look in the distance how many people can you count <laughs> well there's two um workers there and then there's one gentleman there just hanging out and then if we turn and we look this way well how many people do you see there well there's just two people hanging out on the swings that's just how it is here no matter where you are it's never really you never feel like it's it's crowded if it's packed you feel like you have your own space and i really 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 appreciate that. i really love the landscape in here look at this tree yeah it is super so cool unique. Normally you would think, okay, island, you'll probably have only palm trees. <laughs> yeah. But here, they have a lot of unique different trees. They mm -hmm. even have a banyan tree. Yeah. And the only other place that we know that we saw with banyan trees was in Hawaii, where we were, where we lived. Now we are heading back on our bicycles and we will just make a short ride around this area to get to the main uh, entrance of Allegria restaurant. All right, guys, just bear with me. There's one of the cars and they also have, um, you'll notice like these big um, golf carts um, that hold about eight people. Now those golf carts, they pass around the island every hour. So if you are in the reception area and you need to go further down like we are, you can always just wait there and one will come and pick you up. 
and alongside this road there are uh, small entrances to beach villas they also have different styles of be beach villas the one for families with the pool without the pool and this is the main entrance to Allegria restaurant to Allegria Italian it, it restaurant is uh, open for dinner right now it's blocked off but we can just walk and show you what the setup looks like they have uh, shades pulled down but normally when they open for dinner it's all open they have some seating on the beach side right in the sand and inside as well <laughs> we hope you guys are enjoying this walk um, if you are enjoying it, make sure you hit the like button. It'll help us a lot. We're trying to show you guys what it's like being here and giving you this full tour. And if this is the first time you're joining our channel, this is what we do. No matter where we are, we show you guys. We have walking tours. Uh, it'll be very helpful uh, to us if you subscribe and became a member because this is the type of content you can expect from us all the time. So the, this restaurant looks why it's simple but again once they open all the shutters all the doors this Maldivian air uh, breeze going through is just the feeling is so special and over here they have a deck they have some tables on the deck and as you can see some tables on the beach the setup here is absolutely gorgeous and again if you purchase an all-inclusive option and still would like to dine here they do offer 30% discount and the cool thing about this side of the island is this side is the sunset side so the sun sets right over there currently at this time that's where the sun will be setting so as you're here having dinner and all the restaurants will be going to further on this side of the island is the sunset side and it's absolutely beautiful during sunset now you can only imagine let's hop back on our bicycles and go further around the island let us know in the comments have you been to the Maldives is it your bucket list destination we are actually creating a series Maldivian series first impressions things to do things not to do uh, of course for this resort we are doing an, uh, an entire walking tour that you are watching right now we also created first impressions video tips on how to book resorts in the Maldives so lots of useful content coming hello you notice to the right there are some uh, uh, buildings these are all uh, beach villas to the left and to the right as we go around so beach villas are the most affordable option here on the island and what's cool about this uh, those villas is that they're located right in the middle of the island so you're a little bit closer to the action if you're staying in the overwater bungalow it's a bit of a walk so that is the reason why we actually um, rented bicycles bicycles is definitely the way to go here <laughs> Lux has a lot of fun Easter eggs one of them for example every day they hide 25 wine bottles and all throughout the property and if you find a bottle you actually get a prize a gift from Lux there's a note inside the bottle and you collect the notes during your stay here and when you're ready to check out you give them the notes that you got from the wine bottles and you will get a gift for every note you found every wine bottle another cool little area you see trees and here they have a little attached roof with a nice little bench and you can just kind of just hang out here really cool these small little touches are what makes this place really special it feels special it's unique and it's actually pleasant to walk again you guys see us riding the bike but if you chose to walk it's not a problem we do see a lot of people walking here so it's not that you can't do it we just figure it's just a faster way to get to point from point A to point B maybe you want to check out the other side of the island it's the way to go and again we are creating a lot of content so for us we need to get to different destinations as quick as possible and now we have arrived to Lux 
me, which is their spot. You hear the birds? Yep. There are a lot of different birds here on the island. Uh, we'll take you to the yoga deck shortly. But not only birds, they have bats too. We just passed one, but it wasn't in the shot. There's like, I think there's like, I actually only saw one bat that keeps flying around. So maybe that's the, the, uh, <laughs> the, the bat of the, uh, of Lux, their official bat. Because it's not like you see a lot of bats. It's just that one that keeps flying around. So when we were in Allegria restaurant, we were on the opposite side of the island. The opposite side has a beach. This side also has a beach. And from here, you can see four overwater villas. So bungalows, those are actually massage spa rooms. So let's go inside the spa and see if that's okay to walk through it if nobody's there. Hello. 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 Thank you. How are you? Excellent. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. We're just going on a little tour. Is that okay? Absolutely. Fantastic. Fine. Okay. So I will keep my voice a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. This is the reception area where you will uh, come in to check in for your treatment. Or if you would like to have to have more information or book a treatment, you will also come here. Lux actually has a very special treatment and I've never seen it in other spas. They have hair treatment and usually, yes, uh, other places do have some type of uh, hair blowouts or treatments but here it is they make it really special hydrating therapy for your hair and also scalp massage and if you smell the moment you walk through those doors the smell in here it's like they're pumping mint and basil and <laughs> lavender through these vents it's incredible oh my it God. is awesome it is really clean and beautiful and music you hear locks me please Zen. We're back. Good afternoon. Yes. Thank you. So this room actually displays different products. Lux have their own signature product line created specifically for their resorts. It comes from starts from oil, body oil creams, scrubs, you name it, bubble bath. And when you do have a treatment, you would start here in this room by choosing your scents and by choosing what kind of product you would like to have for your treatment. And if you'd like, you can actually purchase uh, any of the products here. Here's um, another treatment zone here. We're not gonna go out and to come to this area, you don't necessarily need to book a treatment. These doors lead you to manicure and pedicure rooms. We're not gonna go there. I uh, had to redo my pedicure yesterday because I had an accident, but you can book your manicures and pedicures here. These doors lead you to changing rooms for men and women. Unfortunately, due to privacy reasons, we are not going to be able to film inside, but the changing areas are gorgeous over there. And going through these changing areas, you actually end up on the opposite side of the spa. Let's see if any of the treatment rooms are available so we can take a quick look. And we are now on the opposite side of the Laka area. There is infused water, and this is a relaxation area and what's cool about it it's actually available to all the guests not only if you book any type of treatment in the spa there is a nice deck with lounging chairs overlooking the indian ocean and the spa bungalow there is a small relaxing pool here as well and of course access to the beach and as you can see there are just a couple people lounging there in their chairs you can see some more overwater villas which we were earlier and again guys you look down the beach and there's just no one and it's not because the resort is not uh full there are a lot of people here but it, there's just so much space capacity. that you know you can go anywhere and you can be by yourself which is really awesome i can not even imagine it's close to 500 people on the island and mm -hmm. where is everyone yeah where is everyone this is a beautiful pool you can just hang out in 
after your spa. Yes. So right now they're actually checking to see if uh, we can get access to one of the rooms. And uh, there is also access to their sauna. So again, you do not need to book a treatment. You can just come if you like dry sauna or wet sauna. There is a set of towels, water, everything for your convenience. Yeah, that's really awesome. Relaxation. That's uh, really awesome. Like you can, you know, again, you don't, like I said, you don't have to have um, do a spa treatment or a spa appointment to just walk in here. And if you love steam rooms and you love saunas, mm -hmm. just come on in here and enjoy yourself. But we are actually, uh, will be doing, having spa treatment. After our wedding, we booked an overwater bungalow mm -hmm. and we will have a couple's massage there. And we'll show you what that experience is like also. And Lux offers, again, different styles of packaging. It packages, if you come in, they have a honeymoon package for the spa. It is upcharge, of course. It includes spa, it, it includes scrub, it includes body wrap, massage, uh, a, re a special relaxation area for the couple, private dinner, and private movie screening. How fun is that? When you go on a vacation, let us know in the comments, do you often book a spa treatment? All right, there is one room available that you can see. And I think it's actually the special room, right? It's a very yes. special room. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys this. We've seen it already because we have taken this tour. It is incredible. And when we get our spa treatment, this is the room we're going to get. But of course, we're going to show you it in detail as we do this walkthrough. Mm -hmm. We and were told that um, you have over how many masseuse? Nine. Ten masseuse. And Irina asked um, which masseuse has the strongest hand and they told us they all have strong hands and they're very good. Absolutely. Uh, there we go. So you don't have to worry when you come here to get your spa treatments. I know some people love really deep massages. That's me. Yes, that would be Irina. <laughs> they will definitely take care of you look how beautiful this is and all massage therapists are actually from bali and if you've been to bali you know bali is known for some good massages okay i'll let you go first <laughs> we will so as remove you can our see, shoes there are four over water bungalows thank you and look at this oh this gives me goosebumps just stepping in here oh i can't wait for our yes. massage it's gonna be crazy so look this, at this is a private room it has it's a couple's massage it has two massage tables it has a glass floor so when you are actually having your massage your head is right over this um glass floor, floor and you can look down or just relax this room is air conditioned it has a tub. This is like, this is everything right here. This is everything you would see in a magazine and it, everything you would really even dream of. Like, just give me 30 minutes in here and my life is complete. <laughs> <laughs> and before the massage, they also um, clean your feet and do a little foot massage here before starting your massage. And uh, there is, of course, shower room and bathroom here. So what do you think about that, guys? Tell me that's not insane. So for right now, we will finish this tour and uh, we will continue the tour later on during our stay. So, so far, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like. What do you think of Luxme Spa? We actually had a treatment here and it was incredible. If you want to see what it was like, we created a Lux experience video. We will leave the link in the description. And you see me wearing different clothes. Well, that's because the island is really big and we are filming it filming this tour in three different days. So we are back at Luxme Spa. We're starting back here and this way we wanted to take you along with us as we are actually riding bicycles through the property from one location to the next. This way you actually get to see how far 
everything or how close everything to each other. And while we are riding to the next incredible spot, I just wanted to talk about how incredible the staff is here at Lux. Oh my gosh, everyone is so friendly. All the staff members, they want to talk to you. And if you need anything, absolutely anything, they will make it happen. Well, at least try to make it happen for you or as, as much as possible as your, hello, morning. <laughs> morning, as your, you see it right now, as we're just passing by, the staff is just, good morning, we're passing by and everybody's smiling, no matter what rank, no matter what they are doing, what their position is, everyone is smiling, uh, saying good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's such a, makes such a difference. Here we are at the Tree of Wishes. It is a very unique feature of Lux. Uh, and this feature you will actually find at all Lux properties. And this is one of 40 reasons <laughs> to come to Lux. They have uh, this uh, event twice a week uh, it's uh, you can make a wish they provide you with ribbons and every ribbon has a number they provide you with pens you write your wish so everyone really makes wishes and as you can see there's numbers on top and when you get a ribbon there's actually a number at the bottom and they cut the number at the bottom they put it inside kind of like a barrel and they roll it out and whatever number Once comes year, out at the end of the year yes. december 31st your wishes may come true so you might win five night stay at lux resort isn't it incredible you have a chance to win and usually they have like a kids a child uh, picking a number and they have a record of all the numbers and they've been doing this tradition for 11 years here at lux south ariato it is free to participate they do uh, keep this ribbon so uh, over the years and just whatever ribbons uh, being tarnished they just take them out but they keep uh, right. usually all once the, the uh the lettering and stuff has been faded they will then remove uh the ribbons from the tree because eventually what happens there are so many ribbons that it's, it, it could possibly stop the tree from growing because of the weight you have to think of all these ribbons yeah, that are just right. hanging there they they it accumulates weight over time so in order to let the tree flourish and grow Wow, there's actually a rib. How did they get that ribbon all the way up there? <laughs> that one looks like it's been there for a long time. All the ones on the other side, their concept must prob probably must be, well, if I put my ribbon all the way up there, I'll stand a better chance because I'm standing out different than everybody else. <laughs> but yes. as you can see, there's Japanese language here and, and Russian and it's crazy. All the different nationalities that come here Let and make wishes. That is so cool. And ours are here as well. <laughs> <laughs> and it is free to participate in this event. And when you come with your family, it's one ribbon per person within the family. And they do it twice a week. So if you're staying longer, you can just come every time, make wishes so you have more chances to win. And as far as we know, they do have this wishing tree on all the Lux properties. And at night, this tree is really beautifully lit. Right around the tree of wishes, you will find another complimentary thing to do here at Lux. This is Yoga Grove. Right around the corner from the wishing tree. They have complimentary yoga classes in the morning, uh, sometimes in the evening. They have two yoga instructors and they are from India. And it's really cool because they, ha they do actually live chanting here. And besides the complimentary yoga classes, so right now 
there are no classes so it's blocked off so no sand will get in here but you have beautiful let's just walk around here you have a beautiful view of indian ocean as you practice you have this nice ocean breeze it is really peaceful to practice yoga here and the classes are very authentic and they also have specialty classes like meditation and uh, floating yoga classes but that is for an upcharge and the white walls around those are actually beach villas uh, that are located in the center of the island so a quick tip that if you're staying in the middle in one of the beach villas in the middle of the island that is actually the most uh, uh, the best way to access different parts of the island because all the different restaurants and activities are spread out from one side of the island to the next and if you're in the middle you can easily reach one side or the other side so now we will be heading to beach rouge mix uh, kids playground and other parts of the island we started our tour good morning at the east side of the island and now we are heading toward towards the west side of the island and as you can see the vehicles the golf carts they pass often so again if you don't rent a bicycle like we do no worries the golf carts will take you back and forth wherever it is you need to go Hello. Hello. Morning. One of the best parts also of being here is that you meet so many people from all over the world and everyone is so friendly because everyone wants to know where everyone else came from. Because coming here, it is a long distance. Some people fly over two, three days just to get here. So it all really all depends. But everyone has such a different and interesting story. And also the staff, they have staff here from 27 countries. So if you need assistance speaking language, that your native language, they will find uh, a staff member that can assist you in your native language. And if you hear that humming in the background, not the birds, but the sound of an engine, that is actually the seaplane either landing or taking off. Right, right alongside, you can see again the beach These villas. These are all beach villas. And again, we'll try to give you access. So if you're here in this video, just know that we are producing many other video, videos where we show you what inside of these villas and different accommodations look like. Speaking of landscaping, look at this hammerhead shark, shark here planted out of tree. It's a little grass. Um, it's a whale shark. Whale shark, okay. Whale shark it is. Well, it is art. It is all up to interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here, if we're passing by Beach Rouge, we will actually get in there shortly just need to now park our bicycle in the designated bicycle parking. Ta-da! We made it to the middle of the island and here you will find uh, a few main things. One of the Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much. <laughs> Today is uh, International Women's Day. I know for many Americans, you don't know what it is about, but here in the Maldives, it is widely celebrated. So one of the main venue here in the center of the island is Mix Restaurant. It is open for breakfast from 7 a.m. till 10.30 a.m. And they also have dinners. Uh, starting at 6 30 p.m. so uh, here they also hold specialty events so for example Maldivian night every Thursday where uh, you get to uh, see the 
traditional dance, music, and some traditional foods. And uh, the prices, if you don't have a, a meal plan, only bed and breakfast, is 110 plus plus per person. And if you have any type of meal plan, it's only $45 plus plus per person. So what exactly is plus plus? Yes, that is very interesting. Actually, plus plus is uh, usually you you're used to saying, okay, it's only uh, X amount plus, and plus is tax. But here in the Maldives, gratuity is or service charge is mandatory, and it is 10% automatically added to your bill. So you get plus tax and plus service charge. That's why they have two classes after each price and it's everywhere not only at the resort so as you can see this restaurant is very unique it is open concept it's um uh, what is it that true there is sand under your feet all the tables are in sand and here is a beautiful pond with a walkway straight into the food um pavilion and we were here the other night for dinner we uh joined morning morning morning, morning. 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 all the staff is super friendly look at this <laughs> and it's not only for the camera okay they're smiling like this every all day the all time. the time every day so which end should we start okay so starting from here yes so we came for the specialty seafood and lobster um buffet unlimited and um, it was incredible. So here you can have selection of breads with a toaster. This is only a partial selection. There is glut gluten-free option, gluten-free muffins. Uh, incredible, it's some syrups, honey. You can make your own peanut butter here freshly. That is amazing. Look at all the peanuts. You just twist and the fresh peanut butter comes out. Gelatos and ice cream station. Yes, for breakfast, your mm -hmm. kids must be in heaven. <laughs> Selection of cheeses, beautiful. So many different options, brie cheese, and with complimentary jelly that complements everything. So here is a selection of cereals, nuts, dried fruits, and their juices. By the way, Lux knows how to make specialty oh, juices. It's so good. By the way, this is kombucha. Any uh -huh. kombucha drinkers over here? I know a lot of people like kombucha. So um, this looks like oh, a lot of different kombucha flavors. Mm -hmm. Passion, Passion fruit. fruit. Oh, beautiful. But as I was saying that not only this is just kombucha station, they also have awesome blends of different um, juices. Uh, we are creating several videos for Lux and in one of the videos the experience upon arrival they served, you have to watch that video to see what they served. Uh, just like in East Market they have a selection of honey, chili honey, blackberry honey, uh, ginger honey, cream, cream honey mountain. And mountain. Wow, this and is a a amazing. Different sugars, even vanilla sugar, coriander sugar. Look at this honeycomb. It just drips from the comb into a plate and it cannot get any fresher. Selection of butters, almond butter, peanut butter, hazel butter, and hazelnut spread for all of you Nutella lovers. Freshly made, homemade jams, strawberry, citrus, raspberry, pineapple, blueberry, apricot. And they are so delicious. They are amazing. The flavors are such, it's very pungent. So you Look really taste the fruit. Yes. yes, for sure. Here is goat milk yogurt. It has uh, already different fruits and honey added so you could choose your flavor. And it's pre-made, just grab and go and enjoy. So while there is nobody at the omelet station. Let's start with the Asian station. Yes. So even though this, as you can see, the selection is different here from East Market, but they have a lot of uh, similar items. They have bacon here, sausages, chicken sausages, and uh, you can ask for uh, freshly made noodles here as well if you are into noodles, uh, all the different Spices. toppings. Spices. And this is your egg station here. Yes. You can see. Just, good morning. Freshly They made. make the eggs exactly the way you want it, and they've made our eggs perfect every single time. If you've been following us, you know we love our eggs soft and not brown. They do it perfect every time. 
of course, mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms. Just your regular mushrooms. Chicken yeah, it's chicken sausage. For those of you who don't report. Good, Good morning. morning. Look at that. Uh, they have crumpet, French toast, waffles, crepes, and pancakes. Again, mm -hmm. made to order. This is yes. just a um, a showcase, but they will make it fresh for you. Mm -hmm. And again, selection of syrups, honey, maple syrup, strawberry sauce, salad station, of course. And on the other side, they have more hummus, uh, carrots, cucumbers, tomatoes, and coconuts. And also selection of different uh, dressings, mm -hmm. condiments, uh, honey mustard, even mayo, um, balsamic, uh, apple cider vinegar, red keeper. And here is very unique because here you do not find this station in East Market. This is East, uh, South Indian, South, South, Indian. South, South Indian. This is South Indian mm -hmm. options for breakfast. And last night we actually dined at uh, their Indian restaurant called Sensei. Oh, the food the was. Food so much flavor yes, yes. it was incredible so um this um you have to see what, how it's made yeah, yeah how it's made it what it looks like look at this gigantic <laughs> ma how do you mas say this? Masala, masala dosa masala, masala dosa masala. and they stuff it with different things yeah, different right. flavors so you wow. basically take the that's this that's the uh, mix it's, uh, it's rice and lentil make the dough. Rice and lentil is the dough. Yeah. And then you put it as like, um, how do you say, the crepe? Like a pancake. Right, like a pancake. Okay, so he's making one right now. And it is massive when he's finished yeah. making it, it's so big. We make a coriander dosa, tomato dosa, um, chili spices, Onion, chilies. Um, podi dosa, uh -huh. uh, mysore dosa, a lot of variety there. And these, the flavors in these sauces are just, wow. Look how beautiful. wow. Yeah. It looks very light and it's very crispy. And it doesn't actually look like that now. It looks like um, like soft, but like mashed potatoes. But when he's done, it will look like this. Crispy. It's super crispy, super light and flaky. Yeah, I think one day we should try one. We yeah, never tried sure. We haven't tried it yet. <laughs> yeah, today we can try it. We just finished having breakfast, but <laughs> since he's making it, I guess we can give it a try. Masala potato. Okay, potato. masala potatoes. It looks like it has peppercorns uh, and what kind of herb? What's is the this? herb in there? Uh, sheaves, you know, mustard sheaves, cumin Mu sheaves. Uh, sheaves. Mustard, sheaves. Mustard sheaves and cumin sheaves. And curry leaves, curry leaves. The curry, the potato, and turmeric you want to chop it And the idli puri, ganz powder. I think you know, it, uh, it's supposed to be US. So US, know the people are a lot of Tamil people, Indian people are there. Right. Yeah, must know those things. Yeah. So Indian restaurants there, right? If you happen to be Indian and you're watching this, I know you're probably drooling right now because you know exactly what this is and what it tastes like. <laughs> but this all looks so gourmet. So here's a combination of um, Onion. onions and tomato. And of course sambal, you can... Like a sambal, it's called some onion, tomato, chilies and coriander, mm -hmm. salt and pepper, lemon juice also. Exactly. Oh, you put some lemon juice on there. Mm. And you can customize and, and look at add it. whatever you like on there. You can already smell all the <laughs> you can smell all the flavors. <laughs> Just play the half of Okay, I'll have a bite. Yeah. Yes. Look at this. Look at what that looks like. That is amazing. Money. This is gorgeous. Okay, Beautiful. you have to see the size of this. Yeah, it's ma it's massive. <laughs> Comparing to my face. <laughs> it is so wow. big. Mm, the smells, it right? smells really awesome. good. Awesome. Yes. So we'll put that on so our table. So how do you eat it? Do you cut it? Yeah, some more condiments are here. This is condiments. Oh, okay. Okay. Dipping. Tomato chutney. Tomato di dipping. Coriander. Coriander sauce. Coriander. What? How do you pronounce it? Ch Cori Chutney. 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 Oh, thank so you. So you just take a little bit, put it on yeah, there, and just, just cut it, uh -huh. dip it, and eat it. Oh, thank awesome. Yeah, one more there. There's some um, uh, highlights. Okay. Samba. Highlights from Southern Indian. Oh. Samba. Samba. Cuisine. Samba. Uh -huh. Oh, it smells oh, so good. Oh, that's what you could dip. You can dip that in there also, right? Oh, wow, we've been missing out. 
beautiful. This one is very nice. Smell. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. It smells delicious. Yeah. Okay, Thank you. Um, that was a really cool presentation. I can't wait to try that, even though, again, we just finished eating, but we have to try it because it was freshly made. You see how wonderful the staff is? I just cannot say enough, enough yeah. good things. So, water station, regular juices, orange juice, watermelon, watermelon juice. juice. And, and back to the staff, a lot of times when you come to these types of buffets, there are certain things that you're going to see that you don't really know what it is. You've never heard of it before. And you ask them and they will explain everything to you and it makes you want to try it. And when you try it, yeah. you'll be glad you did. Remember, the staff lives on the island yes. all the time. So one of the best things for them is actually talking to the guests. Yes. And I'm not making it up. We actually asked many of staff members of camera off the record and that's exactly what they said another bread station and pastries here you can actually slice your own bread there is a toaster here there is also pre-sliced bread and all the pastries are incredible we already tried quite a few of them Shakuri and anti anti pasta station they have different cold cuts and the one's favorite which one is your favorite is the black forest yeah. ham mm -hmm. yes and homemade truffle mustard dijon mustard all, all different spreads. condiments cured fish turkey ham mm -hmm. you name it right and another awesome station here is fresh juices fresh squeeze to order you can actually so they have smoothies and the, the juice so you can tell them okay which one you want and they will um prepare for that you. for you actually when i came here the first time the juice of the day is the green apple and kale so it's just um it's kale it's the the green apple and they pretty much do it that way uh, yes, yeah, some spinach. But what I asked this gentleman to do is add some ginger because you know I love ginger and to sweeten it up just a little bit more, I added some pineapple and he added pineapple and it was amazing. Amazing. Uh, this is called amla. Yeah, amla. 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 So you eat it just like this? Yeah, yeah it's okay. a, a like an apple. Vitamin, you know? uh, like Indian gooseberry. Oh, uh, Indian, Indian gooseberry. Yeah. Okay, okay, this is a, a new fruit for yeah. me. I never had this before. Yeah, it's like a mm. shovel. <laughs> sour, uh, yeah. sour after you drink water, it will be getting very sweet. It will be bitter and sour. Oh, really? After, after you drink water? It will feel like sweeter. Very sweet. Sweeter. Okay, I have to uh, suffer uh, first. Yeah, yeah, first <laughs> just a second, I'll give you water. <laughs> okay. So this you is a, uh, drink the water, it will feel sweet. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow, interesting. That's interesting. Very Let's nice. find out. Uh -huh. very, very nice. So ha when you eat, you will feel like a little bit bitter and uh -huh. uh, Sour. Uh -huh. After you eat, can I try? You feel nice. Yes. Now Thank you. Drinking water. Okay, drinking water now. Mm, just keep it more yeah. <laughs> you feel the difference. It feels a little tar. But like tart? I, yeah, I don't tart. Yes, mm -hmm. but I don't feel no, no, sweet uh, after. You make a morning uh, fresh juice also. Mm -hmm. oh, it should become like a healthy juice. Very right. Healthy. The vitamin C ready for uh -huh. blood pressure. Um, uh, opposite with uh, current uh, sh sorry, sugar and uh, with, um, cancers. Oh, uh, oh your oh, yeah. Okay, very good. So yeah, mm -hmm. I, I can actually see it, adding it to the juice. I think yeah. that would be a really in India, good. A lot of selection. homes, uh, houses, in villages, everywhere they are growing this one. Same like a coconut tree. Right. Thank you. Yeah, thank cool. you. Yeah, uh, another awesome uh, feature of this fruit station is actually if you like fruit, you can choose whatever fruit yeah. you would like. Mm -hmm. They will cut it fresh for you and put it on the plate. Usually any type of buffet, everything is already pre-cut, pre pre-made. Mm -hmm. Here, everything is to order. This is incredible. I'll show you the moment. Nice you can meet all together if you want. You saying hello? Yeah, to, you saying hello to your yeah. wife? Uh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> uh, where is your they wife? In India. They were in India. Your wife is in India. And what about kids? Two kids. Two kids. Uh, when was the last time you saw them? Uh, just so six months ago. Six months yeah. ago? Okay. And how long have you been After working? Two months I've been, I have to go home. Oh, you vacation? Two months just vacation. Wow. And for how long? Uh, just uh, like 45 days. 45 days. So you work six months, 45 days off? No, one year, once 50 days ago. Oh, so once a year, 45 days off that I you... Can, uh, if I need it. Right. If you need it, you can go. Like a three month one time, like mm -hmm. a six month one time. 
Right. Go home. Uh -huh. okay. It's not. A, it's optional. And what is your position here at Lux? I'm a chef and sous chef. Chef and sous chef. <laughs> and how long have you been working uh, here? Six years. Wow, long time. <laughs> That's awesome. All, all of mostly long time been here. Right. Uh -huh. It's okay for us, no problem. Uh -huh. <laughs> Spend unnecessary money, island life. Yeah. Island life, island. yeah. yeah you know, mm -hmm. Just for work and go home and stay safe. Right. Stay safe. It's not like other than being Dubai or Singapore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take your money going for it. It's right. family people, it's good for us. Right. Actually, you know, Money has to be saved. Yes, of course. Very important. And Very important. Uh, do you have any plans um, for when you want to go back to India and stay there? Yeah. Do you yeah, want yeah, to? Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe after two years, I go two years. stay there at home and do something like a business. Or business. Or yes. Mm. Can do that. Wow. Nice. Yeah, in business right? on a hotel. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll stay in touch. Yes. And uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll come really and, and see. When you get your hotel up and running, yeah. we'll be there. When you come in India, <laughs> yes. you no problem. What part of India? I'm from South part in Chennai. Ah. Chennai. Is it nice to visit? Of course. Very good place. Very Chennai. Good. Door of temples. Ah. That's a temple area, temple cities. Wow. You just check with the Google. Uh -huh. uh, South India, Tamil Nadu. Wow. Tamil Nadu temple cities. Mm -hmm. That's Tanchur and Kumpakoram. It will be shows. Very good temples and beautiful area. Thank awesome. you. Thank you for the information. Yes, thank, thank you. So thank you. Nice okay. It's finished. Uh, no, I'll be drinking. Yes, thank you. Okay. And this, uh, this is still a uh, table area. They have quite uh, a lot of tables and you just walk around and find your table. Uh, when you actually see, sit at the table, they ask you what kind of coffee you would like. So again, if you would like drip coffee, espresso, americano, cappuccino, any type of milk you want, they will make it for you and bring it to the table and you just come uh, go to the buffet and pick whatever you like. So breakfast is included with all room types and if you want to have other packages like with it all inclusive, then you can um, come here for dinner as well. So now let's go walk next door to kids playground. <laughs> right across mix you will find play a kids room there are kids inside so we're not going to go inside and show but maybe we'll go around because there is really cool feature there is a, a small splash area for kids they do different types of crafts they have toys and it's um, so cool because the teachers if you leave your school uh, kids at uh, the playground here the teachers actually will send you pictures every 30 minutes on what your uh, child is doing what they are eating uh, what time they do in naps and stuff look at this pirate ship it is so cool and they of course they do so many different activities here so now let's head over and explore another area today is a beautiful weather we are visiting in March and March is considered dry season here in the Maldives but of course you never know sometimes the the uh, the time that we spend here it's been uh, there have been some showers and it's cool they have um, bicycle parking stations everywhere next to each venue and you can walk pretty much the entire island but if there are also shuttles that go back and forth and they when you when they see people walking they actually asking if you need a ride which is really cool there are also um, signs of which direction you need to go it's not the island doesn't have lots of lefts and rights and different turns they're just kind of just verges that you know it, the road will either go to the left or to the right slightly but these signs just basically tell you what direction 
you need to go. It's pretty straightforward. So here is uh, their popular venue. It's called Beach Rouge. And it's um, a restaurant and in the evening that also turns into a more of a lounge area. There is a large bar. And of course, the views. Wow, the views are incredible. The way this place transforms at night is really awesome. They have different theme nights. Uh, they have lighting everywhere. Right now, of course, they're closed. It's still very early. It's breakfast time. So they have uh, this sign, Celebrate Life, is actually their uh, signature logo. They have DJs at 5 p.m. for sunsets, and they have DJ at in the evening at 9 p.m. Hello. They're always fixing something, making sure the resort is pristine. And uh, they have DJ stand here, Lux sign. And over here, you can actually walk out and uh, have a cocktail there, enjoy the views. They have a few nets there and a couple of chairs. A really cool design. The beach, sandy beach actually, stretches around the entire island. There are only a few areas that are rocky like this. We came here the other night, it was a red party and they have a lot of uh, red accent lights, so they really themed it out. And right on this deck, they have lights underneath the deck and you can see baby black tip sharks. Look how beautiful that water looks. It's amazing here. So this is the basic seating area. Come out here, you have your cocktails. But if you wanted to do kind of the beach, part of this um, venue, then you have your more beach chairs and loungers, day beds. So you can just come here and hang out and just waddle in the water out there. The water is beautiful. And speaking about all the different types of decors and cool structures that Lux has for your perfect Instagram shots to make your friends jealous, well, this is one of them. I have a lot of different cool styles of lounging. Really cool seating. And here they have another unique thing homemade ice creams and frozen yogurts. It is open 10.30 a.m. till 5 p.m. And this is complimentary with, all, with your all-inclusive uh, package. They have morning. Home plates. Good morning. This is display only. Okay, so how many flavors of ice cream do you have today? Today we have 16 flavors. 16 flavors. Wow! Coca mint, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, coconut, bubblegum, popcorn, um, white chocolate, malaga, raspberry, yogurt. Wow! Your a lot of kids different choices. will be in heaven. And also they have ices. And look, Ferrero Rocher lollipop. That is awesome. And is, uh, are those uh, ice creams in the back or gelatos? Uh, this is sorbet. 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 Ah, okay. Thank you. They also have vegan chocolate ice cream and sorbets. Sugar-free um, banana, sugar-free mandarin, 
So it's a little bit of everything for everyone, which is really awesome. It smells like freshly <laughs> made waffle cones here waffles. and sugar, of course. All and your toppings. Yes, any toppings you want. So you want <laughs> we just had breakfast, we are stuffed, but later on... We will definitely come back, thank you. And it's cool, as you can see, he's actually making the cone, the sugar cone and waffle cone. Really cool, let's watch him make one. That's really awesome, so it's all fresh. It's a fresh one. Right, it's really cool. So it's awesome that this is located conveniently right here, right in front of the beach, so when you're out on the beach and you've been swimming and just basking in the sun and you want something just refreshing and cool you just take a few steps over and come in here and grab yourself some gelato or ice cream or and over here there's nice ac yes it's very cool in this room so perfectly cleaned windows there is not a fingerprint <laughs> on it and the view it's just paradise you know have ice cream and just enjoy life or celebrate life yes. as Locks. And of course there are some seatings here so you can actually sit here because probably by the time you get your ice cream and walk to wherever it is you're sitting it would probably melt <laughs> because it's just so hot here. So you might want to just sit in here in a cool AC and enjoy your ice cream without it melting. And also the theme is very colorful. They have turquoise cheer, uh, pink table, blue cheers and of course it's um very fun place for kids and adults alike. They serve dinner here as well. They have some table seating right under the tree in the evening. There is nice lighting here and they are getting ready to grill some grilling. lunch for today. And this goes right into the next venue, which is Valley Pool and Bar. At Valley, you can also have lunch, enjoy the pool. Oh, wow, the pool is really large. And there are lounging chairs all around the pool. And of course, the bar is there. the pool gradually slopes, so it's perfect for kids. I love that they have plumerias planted all around the property. Yes. Wow, I spy something really awesome. Let's wait for uh, the guests to go inside the pool and then I'll show you shortly. Just stay with us. If you enjoyed this video, by the way, don't forget to click like and subscribe to our channel it we would really appreciate it so you have the plumeria water trees here. really awesome we haven't seen that since hawaii, hawaii. <laughs> yes complimentary sunscreen 30 spf uh, infused water of course towels look how perfectly they're stacked and they're good quality really soft and nice color great touch all right so from here if you look into the ocean leave a comment below what do you see besides the beautiful water of course Devon do you see it no actually I don't see okay it. so uh, right in front of us there is a bush cut in a very interesting shape and that is looks like either a whale or dolphin looks like a dolphin oh now I see it that you yes. make oh there it is wow <laughs> I spy a dolphin or a whale. Yeah, I think it's, maybe it's a whale dolphin. <laughs> yeah, a <wolfing. laughs> So <laughs> That's awesome. And let's go take a look at the bar. Again, throughout the property, you will see whenever they're having an activity for the night, you will see that they would post so always look out for these because it might be something that you would be interested in participating in and they'll be posted again throughout the different uh, 
venues wherever there's dinner or something available. And besides your all-inclusive options, every restaurant has specialty uh, dining options that you can choose. Today is seafood champagne brunch at here at Valley from 12 p.m. till 4 p.m. And of course, if you have an all-inclusive package, you get 30% discount. Uh, what's also cool about each bar, they all have their specialty cocktails, signature cocktails. So you can just try different bars, different cocktails, and find out which one is your favorite. And there, a lot of them are delicious. <laughs> yeah, we've been here now for how many? Four nights? And we haven't even been to this area yet. So the property is so large. They have so much to offer. And we've been talking to many guests, many guests are repeated guests. So that should tell you a lot. And when we say repeated, up to 15 times, yes. they have visited this island. And they do offer some guest appreciation. They make them feel special and other guests who even here for the first time many of them book minimum seven nights and we originally booked five but you know what we had to extend so we added two more nights to make it seven but a lot of guests also stay for ten and even two weeks and here is a closer look it is actually a dolphin so awesome here there's a sports area for volleyball playing. Beautiful views. And the beautiful thing about it here that we notice is the, the breeze is very gentle. It's not that harsh winds that, that blow in in gusts. It's very calm and tranquil and just blowing throughout the day constantly. So. It doesn't get, it's hot because obviously it's the sun and there's hardly any clouds in the sky, but that cool breeze really makes a difference. <laughs> and again, as we are um, going through this walking tour of the resort, you see how empty it looks, right? But it's actually not. The resort is, uh, we found out that it, at this point, they have 300 guests right now and they have 500 staff members living on this island and everywhere you walk it doesn't feel like it's packed at all yes for sure and we are back to the our bicycle parking station where you can find play and mix and right behind mix we're not going, going to go there but i will share some information there are restrooms there are a lot of restrooms everywhere you have facilities obviously you have restrooms but the restrooms that are um, right next to the beach a lot of them have showers and changing areas and they have full-size towels for you so right after the beach if you want to take a shower in the privacy not like your regular shower on the beach where everybody is looking it's if a you bathroom to, shower yeah, bathroom shower and there are full size bathrooms and um full size showers and changing area yep. we are continuing with our tour we are at the same spot where we lo left off kids playground a mix restaurant valley pool bar and grill and also beach rouge so right now we are heading to towards beach rouge it's actually um they have the same menu for lunch and dinner and it is also an a la carte menu so if you don't have a package the prices here are pretty affordable and they have a good variety of uh, food from pizza to even tuna or wagyu steak for an upgrade so here one more stop we're going to make before we continue uh, this is photo fanatics office and it's located right across from beach rouge And there is Beach Rouge, and we're right across from it. And of course, when you come to the Maldives, for many people it is once in a lifetime, 
vacation or maybe special celebration and you might want to capture your vacation professionally hello thank you how are you both? excellent so look at the images they have professional photographers here and you can book your photo session right here just keep in mind you have to book minimum 48 hours before you leave so if it's any sooner you won't be able to get it so um one of the packages here they have this beautiful lux box with a photo and the thumb drive here we have nahil here and uh, tell us a little bit more about your packages um so you have starting from five photos packages for five photos um can you tell us more about the packages certainly we have we are offering 10 digital images for 300 dollar plus taxes and we have one package for 390 and one for 450 as well Mm -hmm. So for 390 we are offering 10 events in the USB drive and 6 photos printed in a 5 by 7 size wooden gift box. Wow, this is like a it's really beautiful. Simple. Wow, and, where's, and this is the thumb drive? This is the thumb drive. Oh, look how wow. awesome this is. Wow. Wow, look at that epic shot yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. And uh, what about fly dress photo shoot? How does that work? So Flanders photo shoot actually we person um we recommended to book it at least two days prior, same as the other photo shoots. Mm -hmm. And since we are doing the photo shoot, our colleagues from our guest relation officers they will assist you with the dress in the front office and so we recommend to like get yourself ready book within in like mm -hmm. yeah, book in advance mm -hmm. and get yourself ready like fifteen minutes prior so you can fit your dress and my colleagues will help you with it. And how much do, uh, does that cost? It's four eighty dollar plus taxes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ta tax and service four hundred and eighty dollars. And how long does that uh, photo shoot take? It's a one hour photo shoot. Mm -hmm. You receive ten images selected by you mm -hmm. as digitally. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. Uh, that was great information. Pretty reasonable packages. We hope you find this information useful while planning your Lux vacation. So now let's head back on the road. Uh, by the way, you can actually, it's kind of a loop from the main road. You can uh, go past Mix restaurant, the opposite way where we went, or uh, we are going to go the same way to where the road splits and will take you to other areas of Lux. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> and while we are riding, by the way, all the prices that we are mentioning, there's a current prices for 2023. Uh, so the prices might change, but when you're booking your reservations or even before, you can actually contact guest services and they will send you PDF files just request you can request menus for every single restaurant so you know beforehand you come in you can request uh, all the prices or uh, or schedule of all the special events they will send you PDFs uh, spa menu uh, anything you want they will send you uh, I uh, and also any activities and prices for all the activities as well And now we are back, let's look that way so they can see we are back to where the road splits. And I'm just going to straighten out so you can see the split in the road. So we just went that way where we saw Beach Rouge, Photo Fanatics, Icy, uh, the ice cream bar mix. Um, well, tennis courts are located a little further, and this is the herb garden. We also saw Valley Pool and Bar. Uh, we've been to Lux Bar, the reception, and East Point. So this we're not gonna go too much into the garden, but let's just ride 
by it and see see what we can see from the garden so here they do fresh herbs they grow here on the island which they actually use in in their um, restaurants so from here you can see they have a lot of different plants and they take care of all the plants uh, the landscape on the property really well oh actually here is the entrance to the garden let's just take a quick look walk around just in case some of you actually like gardening and like to see what what they have here and locks have excellent sustainability efforts first of all the water that is being served in the rooms and everywhere uh, in restaurants they serve it in glass bottles so they are reusable refillable oh they have aloe vera here and so in case you <laughs> get burned you can actually ask a gardener for some fresh aloe vera oh banana trees wow hello <laughs> they have watering plants and they stopped using any plastic bottles and uh, they only use glass bottles for uh, their water all the water here on the island is desalinated so it's best to drink bottled water or the water that is provided here for you and uh, there is no plastic couple cups uh, for even um, any type of drinks everything is glass and uh, when you come here and you come to a bar uh, you might want to take your drink out just to walk around the island with the drink in your hand you cannot because first of all uh, sometimes you might leave your glass somewhere and it will break and um, secondly it's actually they have a minimal supplies or just as much as supply that they need for all their glassware and once guests start leaving their glasses everywhere it will be difficult to collect them so that's why they do not allow you to take any type of um, drinks out of the bar unless you have a reusable um, bottle which they actually sell it here so this is the continuation of their garden and um, just when you walk around keep an eye because they do hide uh, bottles all around the property 25 bottles every single day with different gifts that you might find in them in your room you also will not find plastic uh, even all the toiletries that they provide for you like shampoo lotions they are all in ceramic reusable jars which is really awesome and as you ride you see signs everywhere on the road so this way they also have clinic good morning and fitness center so let's go into the fitness center this is the official garden <laughs> entrance and everywhere as i mentioned before they do awesome this is jojo <laughs> he's hey. been taking care of us at the spa <laughs> Have official bicycle parking, which is really cool. All right, let's go take a look at their fitness center. <laughs> this is medical clinic in case of any minor cuts, of course, nothing major, but if you do need any specific medication with you, be sure to bring it with you. The opening hours is 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. They have a rack here for your shoes. 
Okay, they have music playing, so let's just um, quickly take a look at all the options and all the machines that they have. They have free weights, um, actually state-of-the-art machines. They have towels, so this is your cardio room. Everything smells so nice and clean. And of course, here they also offer specialty classes, just like uh, at the yoga deck. They uh, offer you classes for yoga, complimentary, and here is cardio, head classes, pretty cool. And you will notice umbrellas pretty much everywhere you go. There is an umbrella stand. And the reason why is that even though we are in a dry season the weather is unpredictable and of course summertime it's the rainy season so it rains on and off so they do offer umbrellas for guests complimentary and you could there are some umbrellas in your room so you can just pick up an umbrella as soon as it starts raining and just leave leave it when you are done pretty much at different locations All right let's head back to the main road um, actually there is a, a recreational area as well here so let's just loop around this way we can show you and this is the middle of the island and here right next to the fitness center there is kids playground so it's kind of like everything interconnects and here is the recreational area where you find volleyball net there are some chairs uh, tennis um, pin pong this way you can also play some family games here as well I'll just cut through. <laughs> there is also street workout area, pretty cool. They have a, a robe. If you're into aerial acrobatics, there are two hand bars, pull-up bar, free weights. It's pretty awesome. And again, you see the road here, it actually loops around to play, mix, herb, garden, and valley pool and bar. I see the beach club. We are now heading towards the West Point, and there are only a few things that we have to see. And all the spots are so picturesque. Just on my left hand side, there is a beautiful coconut tree growing sideways. And they do um, have a, a different uh, things for your perfect Instagram pictures. Attached here is a, a chair or like a hammock chair, Maldivian chair. And the coconut tree is supported, so it's actually safe to sit on it, walk on it, or lay down. Really cool. And the views are just so beautiful everywhere. Uh, on my right hand side, you see a fence, fenced off area. And that area is for staff. The staff lives here on the island full time. So they have their own uh, housing area, their own fitness, recreational area for comfortable living. And that is amazing. There's over 500 staff members living full time here on the island to serve you and to make sure you have the best experience possible and it is amazing that you still 
don't feel even uh, the resort, the capacity plus all the staff, over a thousand people, you do not feel that the island has that many people. And now we are arriving to a very interesting place. It's called Junk Art Studio and Gallery. Again, bicycle parking. They offer art junk, art classes, and uh, here is a little studio where you can do some arts and crafts with a perfect scenery, <laughs> the best arts and cl crafts class. They hold it twice a week. They do provide all the art supplies. They have high stools, chairs. It's perfect for kids and adults. And um, you can see our experience in the video that uh, we created for our Lux experience. It is the most relaxing art class. <laughs> and here they have, uh, so they try to recycle as much materials as possible and use natural materials for your art classes and these are coconuts that we painted when we were here i don't know where ours are i think they are in the art gallery so if you want to see what the art gallery looks like be sure to watch our lux experience video and again the beaches are so pristine from this beach view you can actually see the overwater villa for their spa, our set of romantic overwater villas. And of course, they have awesome cheers in the water for your perfect Instagram shot, shots. And the shape of the island is long and narrow and it stretches almost for two kilometers. They have a sunrise side and a sunset side. So this would be the sunrise side and um, we'll head over to the sunset side. We're almost at the very end of the island uh, where you'll be able to see more overwater bungalows. So the overwater bungalows are located at the far ends of the island. West end and east end. Lux actually has 40 reasons to come to and visit Lux. It is awesome. And this is um, a chain hotels they have uh, lux i think about six other properties all over the world if you've been to any of the lux properties leave a comment below which one you went and how did you like it so here as again you can see whenever you see these these thatch fences that's because it's staff this is where they have a part of the beach where they can also relax and over here on the right hand side you'll see a couple facilities with attached fence again this is their facilities this is where they stay If you prefer not to ride a bicycle, again, they have shuttles for you. And now we are arriving to Senses restaurant, bar, and infinity pool. I love riding bicycles and coming here we specifically chose the resort where we would be able to ride bicycles just keep in mind bicycles are not free you have to uh, pay five dollars per bicycle per day oh. 
Wow, look at that. The pool gradually slopes down. Oh, I just want to jump in right now. <laughs> it is so gorgeous here. So at this point, we are almost at the very tip of the island and now you're able to see what's on the sunset side. So if you want to experience some of the best sunsets Maldives has to offer, this would be a great option to come here at Senses. You can grab, grab a cocktail. They have a bar here, uh, maybe some snacks before dinner and just relax and enjoy the sunset. You can actually buy out the entire island and th that is what is going to happen in just a couple of days. So right now a lot of guests are checking out today and it's less and less people on the island. Right, there because is... there are no new guests coming in. They're not rebooking because of the closing of the island within a few weeks. <sighs> this gorgeous area provides everything you need. Good morning towels ice cold water sunscreen this is a um, chest table <laughs> and just you can um, play chess while you're kind of sitting down a pool table look at those chandeliers of course a bar uh, right behind the bar there are uh, uh, bathroom restrooms area and what's also unique about restrooms is when you after you wash your hands there are rolled towels so there's no paper towels there are always rolled towels and the basket for you to dispose of the towels here you see this frame so every other day they have movies they have uh movies for kids and movies for adults so you can watch movies under the stars it is free and it also if you don't have a drink package it's so the all-inclusive package it's two for one drinks as well here we have these beautiful palm trees that are kind of horizontal and right below it they have dug out a heart so obviously this is great for photos beautiful area here the hammock is in the distance. The hammock in the distance in the water there. You can just walk out there. Water will be up to maybe your calf and you walk out. Sometimes your waist yeah, depending sometimes on, the, on tide. the tide. The beach here is so pristine. It's um, fine, but there are very, very small corals and shells, but they don't hurt your feet. They Not still at all. feel good. And uh, what's funny about this beach is, is Lux all year round does the dredging process to replenish these beaches because even though the island is natural depending on the tide these beaches do get eaten out and uh, washed out to the yeah, ocean they erode yeah so, so they constantly have to pump sand this beautiful infinity pool as you can see there's a golf cart just pulling up there and they're bringing guests over here so golf carts are frequent. So even if you don't rent a bike, you just have to have a little patience and wait at one of the restaurants and or just start walking and they will pick you up on the way, either or. <laughs> there are a lot of places with So the overwater hearts. villa that you see uh, there is actually another set of villas. It's a one bedroom villas. It does not have a pool, but it does have a sunset view and the sunrise view. Yes. So it depends of what kind of villa you want. If you want it with the pool or they also have the one of the best villas, a presidential suite. We will take you there shortly. And this is Sensus restaurant. It's an Indian restaurant. They have tables outside, right in the sand and uh, in the deck area. You do need to make reservations to dine here, even though it is all inclusive, but uh, some of the restaurants you do need to make reservations. And again, depending on uh, the resort capacity, uh, if it's fully booked, you might have difficulty uh, getting reservations once you get on the island so our suggestion is to actually pre-book all your restaurant reservations before you come uh, only two restaurants are not included in your all-inclusive package which is 
Alegria and uh, Umani restaurant, which So has one is Japanese and one is uh, Italian? Yeah, the Umani actually has teppanyaki and sushi. So there's a um, couple of options, which is for an upcharge, but once you have the uh, package, meal package, you will actually get 30% off. And while you're dining, if at any time you have any questions about your all-inclusive, we highly suggest just ask before you order because sometimes we've been in situations where on the menu you might see lobster and if you're a lobster fanatic like we are, you might just assume that, okay, I have the all-inclusive package and I'm going to order it. But if you notice on some of the menus, it has an asterisk nest next to it. So that means that it's not a part of your all-inclusive. So if you're unsure before ordering, just ask your waiter, hey, is this a part of the, of the all-inclusive? And they will explain it to you. So beautiful here, peaceful. This is one of the areas where we do find uh, many people choose to hang out. A lot of times these benches here, uh, lawn chairs are pretty much full and over here and you have people hanging out in the bar in the area because again, it's just so beautiful here. During the daytime, as you can see, it's nice and sunny. You can lay out, you can get your tan. And a lot of people during the evening time, as evening approaches, the sun begins to set right over this area here and this just illuminates a vibrant red. It's absolutely beautiful. The pool, the infinity pool, is not deep at all. Um, it does gradually slope down. As you can see here, there's a drop off here, there's a drop off here, there's another one there. And then from there, you're into pretty much about, I would like to say about maybe four feet. So if I walk around here, you will see in meters what the pool is, just in case you have kids and you might want to see just our, you're not a swimmer, you'll see that it's very uh, shallow. There it goes from four meters, then it drops to six meters. That's the uh, third stop. And then just a little bit, 0 0.8 meters, and then 1.1 meter. And I, this is the deepest end here, and it's 1.6 meters. So that is the deepest. And then here, there's actually an area like where you can sit and relax and just kind of look out, have your cocktail and enjoy. But again, Senses is really beautiful. When we did come to this restaurant, they offered uh, Indian cuisine and it was incredible. Most of the stuff, pretty much all the stuff we've, we've ordered, we had no idea what we were ordering. We did not even know how to pronounce what we were ordering. We just asked for the best recommendation and whatever came to the table, we had. And it was absolutely amazing. All right, let's continue with our tour. I just had a glass of water, ice water. And what's cool that they actually have not only regular water, they have in infused water as well. Mm -hmm. And whenever you're dining, they always ask you, do you want flat water or sparkling water? So those choices are always available for you if you're so inclined to have sparkling as opposed to your typical flat water being served to you at most restaurants. What's interesting about having a bicycle here, you see some of the bicycles have locks. So basically you are supposed to lock your bicycle every time you park it. Well, because sometimes people get confused because a lot of bicycles look the same and some might not look at the number and just take your bicycle. That's why they suggest to lock it. But what we've been doing is we just have it open like this and closed. So this way we don't need to remember all right. these codes. So once we time. lock it, we don't flip the numbers to lock it. We just mm -hmm. kind of just bring the, the two pieces together yeah. and then just pop it open and the numbers stay locked. Uh, but if you want, you can just flip just one, one number. number. This way you don't need to lock it or unlock it all four numbers all the time. As you can see, they're always around. The gentlemen in the blue shirt, they're the ones that do the maintenance and the gardening and the uh, cleaning around the island. You always see them keeping the island tidy. Here comes another vehicle passing by. Good morning. So if we were standing at Senses ready to go back, he would, we would jump on this or wait for him to circle around because we're almost at the end of the island and then we would hitch a ride back to reception area or whichever 
bar or restaurant we choose to go to. Uh, interesting fact, if you are staying in an overwater villa, those uh, shuttle cards do not go all the way to your villa. They would drop you off at the boardwalk, but they will not bring you all the way to your villa, only at the arrival. Once, they, once you arrive to the island, they'll pick you up and they will bring you to your villa. The only reason being is because the um, jetty that goes out to the villa, it's very narrow and it can only fit one vehicle at a time. So if they, if you're trying to get, if you're trying to get to your villa, and there's a lot of you trying to get to your villas, then you have multiple vehicles going back and forth and there just would not be enough room and the traffic would be too high. So as you can see, the vehicle has stopped there. That's the beginning of the jetty. This is the ending of the island. And then you would get off and walk to your villa. So here in this area, this is called the West Point. And here is another place where you will find uh, one of their telephone booth that you can call anywhere in the world this is so awesome just dial the number and call your friends and family to make them jealous literally like that you can call anywhere in the world with this phone seriously is this awesome or what you have some hand sanitizers there and here the country with the country codes. So we have Australia, Canada, China, France, Germany, uh, India, Italy, Japan, uh, Saudi Arabia, Russia, Singapore, Switzerland, Taiwan, Arab um, Emirates, and United Kingdom and the United States. And the codes are there, so you have to dial the code before you dial out. Super, super cool. So here is uh, this tip of the island is called the West Point. And I absolutely love the landscape in here and these trees are so awesome and unique uh, and the, the way they're shaped are just so beautiful here, great for photos as well in this point this is their wedding venue <laughs> well the outdoor <laughs> well one area. of their wedding venues because they do have options for other places but this is the prime area for where the wedding um, would take place and, and this is where we got married and the ceremony was just out of the world you would need to definitely subscribe and click the bell notification so you don't miss when we publish that video oh my god that is that was so memorable and it was yesterday and i'm still so happy and it's just so excited the way the ceremony was held. The setup was beautiful. We had, after our ceremony, we had a, um, a dinner out here. We planted, actually, I think, I think it's oh, still yeah. here. Yeah, the, it will be here for three days. We planted the coconut. Yes. With our names on it and the date. And our wedding number is 899. So Lux held 899 weddings here and after three days this coconut will be moved to another place on the island our plaque will still be there and when we get back we can go visit our coconut tree isn't it amazing that's all awesome so here are the overwater bungalows and this is also a sunset view right here What's interesting, interesting about these uh, overwater villas is that the walkway is much shorter. Where we stay in, if you decide not to rent a bicycle, it will be a very long walk to your villa. But here the walk is much shorter, so once you get dropped off to the West Point, you can easily uh, access your room within a minute or two. And I think overall it's best to if in our opinion it's best to rent a bicycle at five dollars per day it's a small charge but it really does help you move around uh, more efficiently when you're ready to go you don't have to think twice about standing and waiting uh, for a vehicle to pick you up you just pretty much get up and go but not everybody is comfortable riding bicycles right. and here the villas set up a different there is uh, one walkway and villas on both sides of the walkway
you will find these awesome picturesque setups everywhere around the island. This would be perfect to sit here and just watch the sunset. The sunset. You can come out here, take photos. And it's just so relaxing and peaceful here. Lux has done an outstanding job with the setup of the property and making it look unique, interesting, Instagrammable, and definitely memorable and one of a kind. And there is Senses. We were just there. So as you can see, it's not too far from the very west end of the island. And if you wish, you can walk around the entire island right on the beach. If you really like long beach walks, this island is perfect for you. And as you can see, it's hardly any people. <laughs> so let's take a walk over now to the air library, see if there's anyone in there. Yeah, I think we're good. I think they might have left. As we walk over to this little tiny glass building, but this little tiny glass building has a significant meaning. Right in front of it, you will find the chess deck so you can play chess outdoors right in the sand with gorgeous ocean views. All you chess lovers, this is a life-size <laughs> chess board. And this is the best library in the world. This is Wanderlust Library. And it is one of the 40 reasons to come to Lux. As soon as you walk in, oh, the AC is so refreshing. It's a perfect temperature here. And it hosts over 400 books from all around the world in different languages. So this is the most relaxing library and the best views in, of libraries, I think, in the world. If there is a contest for the best library, I think this will definitely <laughs> so there's a win nice the little contest. Couch. So this is the first floor of the area. You can relax here, pick your books, and let's head up upstairs to the loft area and where you actually get to read your books. Just watch out, it's a pretty low ceiling. Awesome bean bags. Now you tell oh. us, when was the last time you attended a library and had a view oh, like this? Hmm. Honestly, I don't even need to read anything. I can just <laughs> relax here and enjoy the view. Look at some palm trees on the sides. You see the sand, Indian Ocean. Oh, this is paradise. Yes, it's absolutely beautiful. It's like watching a large screen TV and you know, they just have those tropical island videos playing, except yeah, this is not a TV. It's absolutely beautiful and relaxing. I do not want to get up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably a bad idea that we sat down, being that we've probably been walking and bike riding for over an hour at this point. So we do hope that you guys uh, find interest and found this video useful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like. Thank you so much for watching. And as usual, just be out with us.